You don't know, right? That who is Pratap? And what is my name? My name is Sagna. And I'm... I am Pratap's widow. Wait till morning. I need to do it right now. I have already caused a lot of problem to my family. And, and if they come to know that, the secret which they are trying to hide, that I have told to Sham, then, then they will be so much shocked. Sham to do itself. Right now. Sugna, why are you missing school? Is she yet unwell, mother? You're taking the doctor along? Is everything fine?
whatever I told you today, it's a very shameful act for any girl's family. They wouldn't want to share it with anyone. If outsiders come to know about this, then my family won't be able to show their face to the villagers. Can I trust you on this matter? I hope you won't tell this to anyone and keep it just for yourself. Sugna? Go, go and call your father. These are the papers of our barren land. You wanted them, right? Take them. Let Sham come. He is getting some important documents. It has to be signed. Then Bero and me will live with him for court. No, Bero won't be going. You go along with Sham. I have to send Bero for some other important work. Yes, mother. Yeah. You know, since last night, a thought has been bothering me. There has to be some reason for sure that our family is facing problems one after the other. I think I have not done enough to please our forefathers. We have failed to do something. You know, Bero. I want you to go with Sumitra to Kolayat today itself. At the ancestral place of worship. Go and donate something, as tomorrow is a good day. And also ask for forgiveness. Dear forefathers, please forgive us if we made any mistake. Bless our family with peace and joy. And don't forget to get the amulet while returning, okay? Yes, mother, okay. Sumitra and I will leave in the evening. Greetings. Hey, Sham, come in. We were waiting for you. Forgive me. I'm a little late. It's okay. No problem. Hey, Brother Sham. Greetings. Anandi. How are you? I wanted to tell you something very important. Before that, I've got something for everyone. Take this. My mother has cooked this. What is it? Green gram pudding. Pudding? Yes. Mother didn't want me to go empty handed to your house. So she gave me this. But yes, even I'd like to taste. Yes, of course. I've heard that your mother makes excellent pudding. Now let us taste it today. Anandi, warm it please. It'll taste better. Okay, Sham, what was the other work? I had spoken to a government official in the city. He has agreed complete support. That's really good. Is the remaining paperwork done? Yes. Take your own time and read it carefully. Sign only after that. Aunt, the 
this pudding has to be heated. Pudding? Yes, Brother Sham has brought it for everyone. Okay. Why are you putting water in this? That's the way to heat the pudding. First you put water and then you put the pudding inside it. Like this. It keeps the taste intact. I haven't seen this method before. I haven't seen my mother do it either. I too have learned it from Sumitra. From mother? Yes. Can I do it now, aunt? Sure. Why is it taking so long, mother? This boy is so restless. Come and sit here. If you keep walking around like this, you won't get the pudding. Yeah. Anandi will be getting it. <laughs> Did you leave home empty stomach? Oh no, mother. I'd had breakfast, but I didn't have pudding. I thought I'll have it with y'all. And uncle, we have to go to court. If you have read the papers, then please sign on them. Hmm. What are you doing, Basant? How can you sign without reading it properly? Mother, I have checked. It's fine. How can you be so sure, Basant? You must never hurry while signing legal documents. Brother, mom is right. There is no harm in taking precautions in these matters. Yeah. And especially if the paperwork is done by Madan Singh's son, we should pay even more attention. Give it to me. Where you take a look? Aha! Here comes the pudding. Give. Give it to me. But... Uh, I'll give it to everyone. Please give it, give it. Uncle, this is for you. Mother. Who is this one for? Jagdish would be at school. It's for Sister Sugna. Oh, yes. I forgot. Anandi, do something. Call her here. It's hot pudding. She'll have it with everyone. No, no. Sugna won't have it here. Anandi, take this to her room. Go. Radha has really made a nice pudding. Your mother is really a brilliant cook. Yes. The aroma speaks for itself. It's too good. You please continue to have it. I'll keep this in the kitchen. Give it to me. Oh no. I don't allow anyone to touch my waste plate. Mother has taught me since childhood. But we I are a will... family. Why do you take the trouble? I'll keep it. Look at him. Didn't his mother teach him that it is not good to roam around in others' house like this? If an outsider even steps into our kitchen, I don't like it. But this boy doesn't listen. Hey, mother, let it be. Didn't he say he doesn't give his soiled plate to anyone? Some people have such habits. Let it be. Yeah, so he should practice it in his house. Mother... Why are you getting angry? Sit. Please sit. Uh, brother, I have read the papers. Please sign it.
It's too good, Anandi. When did you make it? I didn't get the aroma. It was not cooked at our house. Brother Sham brought it for everyone. His mother cooked it. Why didn't you say it earlier? What did I say before? That he brought this pudding? So what? Have it if you like it. Eat it. I have had enough now. You may go. But sister Sukhna... Anandi! Now go from here! Anandi! Listen! What is Sham discussing outside? He is discussing some work with grandma, father and uncle. Brother Sham is very good. He talks so nicely. Am I right, Sister Sidna? Whenever Brother Sham meets us, he brings something to eat. Let it be sugar cane or ground nuts or nuts or sweets. Today he has got pudding for everyone. You know, Sister Sukna, whenever I see Brother Sham, he reminds me of Pratap. He also used to bring loads of stuff, isn't he? Anandi, enough! You are just saying anything? How can you compare Pratap with Sham? He is not like my Pratap in any way. And yes, don't you ever try to compare him with my Pratap, or else it won't be good. Hmm? Now go from here! Sister Sukhna, why are you getting so angry? I just want to... Please, Anandi, go from here! I promise. Whatever you told me will only be with me. I won't share it with anyone. You also have to promise something. You have to meet me on your terrace in the night. I'll be waiting for you. The mistakes committed in childhood becomes a curse for the entire life.